Hey, good morning everyone. Meteorologist Josh Morris is here with your Wednesday morning forecast update. Obviously, Monday the story was the uh, cold air making its way in. Yesterday the story was the heavy rainfall. And today, kind of a transition day back to fall in most areas. We'll still see some rain out and about. And we're already seeing a little bit of that this morning. So let's take in and show you where we are seeing that rainfall. You see generally the uh, showers that we have ongoing this morning along I-20 and uh, moving slowly to the northward here. So across southern Arkansas, northwest Louisiana, we'll see some showers in the next few hours. And you see over towards the the Dallas area. We do have a, a pretty good slug of moisture making its way in, so that will bring some rain, especially between I-20 and I-30 across our East Texas counties this morning, but the rain definitely not as widespread as the past few days. Temperatures locked in where they have been the last 24 hours, upper 40s and low 50s, so don't forget the jacket this morning. We also have that breezy north wind, not quite as gusty as what we saw at times yesterday, but the northeast breeze today about 10 miles per hour uh, as we go through the afternoon and evening hours as well. Visibility pretty good across the northern Arkansas here, but we are seeing a little bit of fog set up south of Interstate 20. Even saw a little bit in Shreveport on my drive in this morning. So uh, at this point, don't anticipate any dense fog since we still have the clouds above, but uh, we may see visibility reduced just a little bit if you're traveling up and down I-49 this morning. So this is the way it will play out today. I think we'll spend most of the day here in the 50s. A few locations will break the low 60s. So you see as we go hour by hour, your rain chances generally decreasing as we go through the afternoon and uh, optimistic. Maybe a few locations will see some sunshine, but uh, I think most of us will stay mostly cloudy and just overcast throughout the day today. So there is a good chance high temperatures may actually come in a little bit lower than this. But right now going 58 for Shreveport, 56 in Texarkana this afternoon. And you see a few 60s maybe poking out where we'll see the sun across the northern Arkletex. Wide view of the region. Still have that frontal boundary down along the coast. So it is not out of the question here. We could see a few pop-up showers as we go through the day. The uh, big upper level low back to the west will eventually make its way towards the Arkletex later this week. And I'll show you uh, several Several days of future cast here and you see the rain that we do have out there this morning likely pushing north as we go through the day so future cast advertising kind of a chance for a steady shower up in the i-30 corridor later so don't forget the umbrella especially across northeast texas uh, for later today for thursday i think we'll actually see some sunshine come back out here and rain chances really low i think that will be definitely our transition day to fall as we will see high temperatures back into the 60s tomorrow and kind of long range here we do have some rainfall returning likely friday into saturday so so uh, what that means for some of the Friday night football games may have some rainfall around again. And it looks like the rain now may push through here pretty quickly Saturday morning. So you may wake up to some rainfall here. But as we go through the day, I think we'll begin to see that sunshine pop back out and the rain end on Saturday. So outdoor plans, push those later in the day Saturday and then Sunday looking pretty good for us. As far as the rain totals here, of course, we've had some heavy rain for the past 48 hours and it doesn't look like that's on the way today. I think at most a few locations may pick up over an inch of rainfall, but uh, certainly no flash flooding can concerns for us this morning or at any point today. And there's your seven days. Shows temperatures back into the 60s through the weekend. Again, clearing out Sunday. So that will be an excellent weekend day for us. And it looks like we'll probably stay dry next Monday, Tuesday. And there will be a rain chance returning middle of next week, perhaps next Wednesday and Thursday.